The summer 2016 gunfighter flag focused on air-to-air -air missions, ground-to-air support, and interoperability. There's about 40 different aircraft that are flying in this specific exercise. This included the F-A-18 Hornets to fly alongside the F-15 Strike Eagles, as well as the KC-10 refueling aircraft and Black Hawk helicopters. Integrating different aircraft creates a more realistic training environment. We train the way we're going to fight, and so when we actually do fly in combat together outside of a training environment, we can have seamless communication. Participating in this training included JTACs from the 3rd Battalion, 11th Marines. What the JTAC does is he's got good uh, situational awareness of what's going on on the ground, knows where all the units are, and he'll be able to talk the aircraft onto or provide targeting information. This exercise also gave congressional advisors from Nevada, Oregon, and Idaho a chance to assess Mountain Home's air operation capabilities. Military personnel recognize the importance of constantly participating in exercises like this. If you're not out and you're not actually dropping bombs, actually talking to aircraft, you get rusty. It increases their readiness and their combat capability. It takes months to plan an exercise, and preparation for the fall gunfighter flag begins as soon as the summer one ends. For Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Airman First Class, Chelsea Tedonio.